All right, I hope you're doing all right with that E minor chord. We're moving on now to a D chord, and this one has three fingers, so let's take a look at this one. Finger number one goes on the second fret on the G string. Finger number two here goes below it on the second fret of the E, and your last finger, your third finger, goes on the third fret of the B string, and it'll sound like that. So a bit more tricky this D chord, you've got three fingers, and the more fingers you have on, the more problems you can have. So let's have a look at that. One of the most common things that go wrong when you start playing is people play this. Now the idea here is don't strum the E and the A strings, just strum from the D. Obviously we're strumming here from the sound hole, all right? So just try and watch out for that. And again, keep everything pointy, but the secret to this chord sounding good is strum from the D. One, two, three, four. This is a nice one for the D. What you can do, and this is very common, is you can start adding notes and taking them away. So you might notice you've got your little finger here doing nothing. So if you're playing that D, if you add your little finger to the third fret of the high E, leave everything on, you get this sound. So here it is off. There it is on. All right, so we can do that. You could go. when you add your little finger is called a D sus4 which sounds very complicated but all you're doing is adding that one finger the other thing you can do with a D if you want to try this this might be a little more tricky is to take off that second finger so you get this sound this chord is a D sus2 so you can take there it is on the D if I take it off there's that D sus2 and that sounds really nice type of open sounds, a very pretty chord. And you can have a little combination of those two, so you can go. At the end, I did that little technique we did with our E minor chord where we hammered on. I just I hammered on with my second finger to that second fret of the E. 